Hi Wildcats, I hope you had a good weekend. Um, let's dive into this week's story problem. During my first read, you're asking yourself, is there an action? I have 36 crayons. I give the, the crayons to four children. Each child gets the same number of crayons. How many crayons does each child get? So during that first read, was there an action thumbs up or thumbs down? Good, there was no action. So now we're thinking about what's the relationship between these values. Is this a part, part, whole problem? Is this a compare problem? Or is this an equal groups problem? So let's read it again. I have 36 crayons. I give the crayons to four children. Each child gets the same number of crayons. How many crayons does each child get? So during that read, you were thinking about the relationship between the values. Is this a part, part, whole problem? Is there a whole that we're given and we have to figure out one of the parts that make up the whole? Or do we know both of our parts to make the whole? Or is this a compare problem where we have to figure out how much more or how much less? Or is this an equal groups problem where we know our groups, we know our total items and our items? This is absolutely an equal groups problem problem just like last week the way i know it's an equal groups problem is because they tell us our groups so now when we're reading i want you to be thinking about what are our groups are the crayons our groups or are the children our groups remember a group holds something i have 36 crayons hmm, is that my group i give the crayons to four children hmm. Each child gets the same number of crayons. How many crayons does each child get? So I was thinking about what are my groups in this problem? And remember, a group holds something. 36 cray crayons. Are the crayons holding anything? Four children. Are the children holding anything? Yep. So the children are our groups because they're holding the crayons. So I'm going to put a G next to four children because that's my groups. So now that I know my groups, let me think, is 36 crayons what each child gets or is 36 crayons what I need to break up to give each child? Hmm, I have 36 crayons. I give the crayons to four children. Each child gets the same number of crayons. So will the kids get more or less than 36 crayons? They're definitely going to get less because I'm going to start with my total of 36 and I'm going to start giving each child crayons until I run out. So just like last week, I'm going to be dropping off crayons to each child. So I know my groups. I have four groups. So let me draw my four groups. One, two, three, and four. So this is group one for child one, group two for child three, I mean two, group three for child four, and group four for child four. And I have to give out all 36 crayons so that each child gets the same. Last week we talked about using a more efficient way to drop off the crayons. And so last week I started with 10. So if I gave each child 10 crayons, will that get me to 36? So 10, 20, 30, 40. If I give each child 10, th then I will have given out more than 36 crayons. Hmm. So let me see. What if I do it? Let me see. Let me try my skip counting. Or I can just drop off one at a time. So I can drop off one crayon at a time until I get to 36. This might take me a while. I don't want to do one. Maybe I'll do five at a time. Let's just do one. One remember I'm stopping at 36 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33, 34, 35, 36. I've reached 36, and so my question is asking me how many crayons does each child get? 
and let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This child has nine, three, six, nine, 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 nine. So each child gets nine crayons. So now that I know that each child gets nine crayons,